Anna Cardi. I know, you got my job. Really? You want to do that now? And so, do you mind not calling me Miller? Why? No, I, I don't really like the surname thing. I prefer Ellie. Ellie? Ellie. No. We got your coffee? I don't drink coffee. Of course you don't. Are you just making one for yourself? I can't eat that. You don't eat fish and chips? What kind of a Scot are you? It's all there is. Eat or be hungry. Do we have any reason to disbelieve the postman? As much as I say, you know the reason why. And do we think that the money and the drugs and the house are connected? Is that cash for the supply of cocaine? But you do know you do this incessant list question thing. Bam, 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 so no one's got a chance to reply. It's like you really enjoy it. Do I? Yeah, can I eat my dinner, please? Am I too rustly? We're all here ready when you are, sir. You do it. I, I can't, I've never, I've never done that. Here you go. I'm, uh, welcome. I'm, uh, Ellie, uh, D.S. Miller. Uh, so we've, we've got a lot to get through. Um, we we're already uh, behind because of the weekend and, and not having the resources, which are here now, which are you, so. Very inspiring. Don't ever do that to me again. What was that, just because I'm not running to arrest Mark Latimer? I'll get thrown to the lions. Hey, you didn't mention how we can all discount Mark Latimer. Or your own exhaustive list of suspects. Don't harangue me. God, you're such a... We need to interview your son. You should have an appropriate adult, not you, obviously. Relative, maybe? Last time downstairs, nice we should start. So, sir. On earth, we say good morning. How are you doing? I've told him, makes no difference. Outstanding. Oh, bloody standing. Oh, Miller, we've got them. Keep going. I want to know as soon as you have confirmation. Come on, Miller, don't hang around. Are you all right? Don't like being on the water. We're barely on it. What about you then? You religious? Yeah. I pray nightly you'll stop asking me questions. With respect, sir, move away from me now or I will piss in a cup and throw it at you. Talk to... What's your husband's name? Joe. Talk to him about it. And Tom. You're invited for dinner. What? Pick a night. At your house? Why? Do you know many people here? No. Are you living off hotel food? It's not a good idea. Oh, please don't be an arsehole about it. Believe me, I don't really want to do it either, but it's what people do. Is it? Yes, they have their bosses round. We don't have to talk about work. What are we talk about? I don't know. Just say yes. <clears throat> Thank you. Bloody hell. Nope. Oh, you're in a suit. That bad? No, I just didn't expect it. We didn't get pushed up. Not the time. Well, there we are then. Come in. I bought wine. Oh, that's very kind. Nice flowers. Oh, you didn't need to. And do... chocolates. Wow. Wasn't sure what to choose, so I just got them all. Bless. Come in. Um, Alec bought wine and flowers and chocolates. Very full house. You can come again. I can't call you Alec tonight, can't I? Not Hardy or Sir. Here's your dinner, Sir. Ah, I don't like Alec. I've never liked Alec. Alec. Hmm. You can always choose another one. Yeah, why does <laughs> I have to use first names so much? They're all working marketing or something. Why do people insist on doing that? I mean, if you, if you look at a person, if I look at you, you know I'm talking to you. I don't need to say your name three times just to congratulate myself on remembering it, to create some, what, well, sort of false intimacy. Or... So, I show you to the dining room. That was nice. Thanks, Miller. <laughs> All evening and it's still Miller. Do you think the killer's here? Good chance. Two. Keep an eye. Keep an eye out. Look out for anything out of the ordinary. I've got it. Do I art cue, Miller? Seriously, you're only asking me that now. Sir? Tell me, you found the door. No, but... Find the door! We need the door! Oh, I'm not sorry, talking about you shut up for a second! Just tell me to shut What are those? Grapes. What you bring grapes for? I hoped you might choke on the seeds. They're seedless. They don't be a smart ass. It's occupied! I know. I'm out, Miller. You've been ages. Oi, it's a sign. Oh. Cleaning in progress. Out, out. Don't let it get to you. Oh, well, thanks for that. Brilliant advice. You want a hug? What? No. Right, no. What's the matter with I'm you? I'm just trying to help. Do you want a hug? No. Hug it out. People do that. No, well, not you. Just try not to be alone today, Mum. I am alone, sir. You don't have to call me sir anymore. I know. Christ, did you put that there? Mella. Now go. <laughs> 
away. What are you doing here? It's your appointment. Have you been following me? Shut up. That's right. Stalk me and insult me and you wonder why you're divorced. How long is this going to take? Promise me. Am I going to be annoyed by this? You wanker. No, my lad, don't. That went well. You took the job here, Mark, for me because of her. Will you get over the bloody job? Do you not see how stupid you're being? What are you thinking? I've got a plan. Yeah, well, it's shit. Have dinner, have some drinks. You can all stay the night. Oh, I have a sleepover. She needs someone like you. And you're not exactly overloaded for friends right now. Thanks a lot. There's even room here for... Fred! Fred. Give me your keys. What? Car keys, no! You're not supposed to drive, and what are you going to do anyway? Fine. You have the keys. I hope you bloody well crash. I have a heart attack while you're crashing! Oh, why are you being such a fuckwit about this? Sorry? I'll sleep in the car. Oh, don't be if dead. If your husband's legal team found out. Oh, they've already accused us of it. What else can they do? Seriously, don't be stupid, especially not in your condition. It's not a condition. Oh, it totally is a condition. I'll sleep under the covers, you sleep on top. Just don't snore. You're in the covers. Sorry. Bit weird. Unbelievable. Bumper cars, Hardy. Shh. Did you see this? What's that? Have you come across that before? You've been here all night. Yeah, I suppose I have. Fred's sleep next door. I need a cup of tea. Ah, now, you're out of tea bags and milk. And I've used the last of the bread. What? A text. Don't start, Mella. I'll give you money to shut up. I'll give you more money to be less of a knob. Hello? And you can call me any time. You gave her your number. Oh, don't You start. gave her your number. So what? Your personal yes, number. I what did. have I told you? She needed it. Every time, Mel. Yeah. I had to keep doing this. Once before. Twice before. Oh, are you keeping count? Yes. Well, I've been up half a night. You didn't even let us stop for a coffee or a bacon sani. Aha. Oh, God, what's that? It's a goodie bar. Keep them handy for Fred. Well, what's happening in there? I don't care. Do you want to have? No. What do you think, Mel? What do you think? Had a attacker sent that text. Well, it doesn't make sense. It makes it much more likely as someone she knows. Are you really going to drink that disgusting stewed tea? What the hell are you doing here? I was passing, saw your light on. What? Halfway up a hell at two in the morning? All right, I drove over. I was hoping you'd still be awake. Don't be a twat about it. Oh, it's good, this place. We can have some lunch after. It's not jolly, Mella. We've got this guy and any musician we're behind already. Oh, do you live on air? You never eat. Oh, he's so grouchy and thin. Thin and grouchy. Oh, seriously, though, please eat. A few moments later... Oi! Oh, who's that? What? No! Come on! How about you do your dusting and you leave us to sort the conclusions out? I think you should say sorry to Brian. Sorry, Brian. And you wonder why we call him Shitface. Can I ask you a question, Mel? Of course. Why have they been calling me Shitface? Since you first arrived. Really? Yeah. <laughs>